Earlier this week, KDK reported that Governor Wolf was saying he was hopeful the Fern Hollow Bridge could be replaced in a year. Today, Wolf announced the rebuild will be fast tracked. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan pressed PennDOT on whether the new design will be different from the bridge that failed. The fast tracking of this $25 million project will mean it could be completed in a year's time instead of two or three. And PennDOT confirms that the design of the failed bridge will not be used for its replacement. Cleaning up the fallen slabs of concrete and replacing the span over this Frick Park ravine may be happening sooner rather than later. It's amazing when people work together to get stuff done. The Wolf and the Ganey administrations today announced the Biden administration's quick approval of $25 million from the recently passed infrastructure bill to replace the fallen bridge. The feds also cut the red tape, waiving competitive bidding requirements, allowing the state to award emergency contracts to swank construction of New Kensington and a Nebraska-based engineering firm to oversee the cleanup and begin designing the replacement structure. The governor's office now says, barring any supply chain issues, the bridge could be completed in a year. Yeah, I mean, if they can do it that quick, we're, we're happy about it. Fern Hollow will join an already busy construction schedule, which calls for replacing the deck of the Commercial Street Bridge at the other end of Frick Park and major work on the Anderson Street Bridge at Shenley Park. But the news raises question about Fern Hollow's replacement design. The failed bridge was a so-called K-frame design and is being looked at by the NTSB as part of its investigation. At a press conference, PennDOT says it immediately inspected all five other K-frame bridges in the state, including this one over Beechwood Boulevard in Squirrel Hill. I would say uh, the, the good news there is these other five bridges are in a little bit better condition. Most of them are fair or good, and none of them have uh, postings or restrictions on them. So there's, again, no concern with those other bridges. Will the new design not be a K design? We're still working out what that is, but I, I'll just put it this way. I do not think we're going to be using a K design in that restructure. The failed bridge relied on two girders for support, and PennDOT says any new structure would have multiple girders and redundancies. O'Connor says the city will have input. If that's the design that has failed in the past, we'd obviously ask those questions. Now, as I said, under the award of these emergency contracts, the design process can begin immediately. And so we should have something to look at in short order. Reporting in Squirrel Hill, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.